feel after that game? Um, obviously super happy. Um, I couldn't have done it without this group. Uh, they've encouraged me the whole entire way. Um, and I felt it on the field tonight. So <clears throat> I'm going to give all the credit to my teammates um, and the staff. Awesome. We're going to go to Austin. Austin, let you go with what you have and then jump over to Sean. Cool. Hey, Carrie. Um, obviously, 73 minutes for you. Uh, first start since 2022. Um, to be able to work your way up from from getting game minutes and now getting your first start this season, I mean, just the process from getting hurt last year to now, how how much of a road has this been for you and just you know, the, the fortitude to kind of battle back from that kind of injury to, to get back to this point? Um, I'll be honest, it's been hard. Um, it's been a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, but I just kind of put my head down and continue to work every day. Um, and like I said earlier, my teammates have been super supportive. Um, my faith has helped me through this whole entire thing. Um, but yeah, obviously it all paid off and I'm, I'm just really happy. To be able to get a, a result like this on the road, I mean, the team's firing on all cylinders to be able to come into a, uh, a defensive, uh, shape like this, um, <clears throat> to be able to get yet another shutout. I mean, what does it speak to this team of just being able to, to have different pieces and yet all continue that, that level of play? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, it's pretty crazy to get these results and also get shutouts, um, at the same time. It's been awesome. Um, but I think that's as much as we love to win, we love to get shutouts and we know what it takes um, and it's not easy, but we all put our heads down and we grind together. Um, and obviously the result shows that. For you as, as an Orlando local, who's been around this team since basically its inception as you know, playing in the area and then playing with the team to have a, a run like this, to mm -hmm. be where this team is right now, what does it mean for you to, to be a part of this team? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, it is obviously a lot different than all the years in the past. And I think it's about time. Um, we have really special management. We have special players, special staff, um, and it's finally all coming together. Um, and it's a beautiful thing to see. Back to the to the game now. Obviously, they had some very pacey wingers um, coming down the line. <laughs> what was the kind of discussion from from your perspective? Just talk to Emily about uh, how you know the the center backs approach it. But for for you as a fullback, what was kind of your approach to to marking players with that kind of pace? I think it's just winning your individual battles. Honestly, we knew they had pace, but I I think me and Cariabello um, and. All of us, we bet on ourselves as well. Um, we're both really fast. And I think, I mean, you have to be smart, obviously. But I also think that we um, won our individual battles and uh, it showed in our success tonight. Anything else, Austin? All good. Sean, you got anything? This game. Yeah, that was a tough game. This is a tough environment. You know, they have a big crowd that looks to get behind them. So the fact that we could, you know, put two away in the first half, um, great brace from Aubrey or uh, Aubrey, Audrey. Um, yeah, I think we had that good momentum in the first half and we carried it into the second half and it's a good uh, win away from home. We're going to go uh, over to Austin David first. Austin, uh, you can ask a few questions. Thanks, Jackie. Um, Emily, just – uh, being able to get yet another shutout for this team, I think that's seven now. Um, just the defensive performance, uh, what can you say about the the collective effort from this team? Yeah, collectively, I think we all just have that desire to keep the ball out of our, out of our own net and just throwing our bodies on the line, you know, emergency defending when we have to. And then, of course, you know, putting the other team on their back foot obviously helps – you know, our game defensively. So I think just collective effort when we have the ball to make the other team work for it. And when we don't, just everyone putting their body on the line and doing whatever it takes um, together. How big was that that goal from Audrey in the 20th minute just to kind of set the tone um, for the, the rest of the game and, and kind of build off of that? Yeah, definitely. As I said, this is a hard place to come and play. So I think just getting that first goal really changed the momentum and, you know, silence their crowd a little bit. 
and you know kind of gave us that little extra bit of oomph to keep going and to get that second goal in the first half as well you say this is a hard place to play but you guys have found a lot of success here what what has it been just kind of being able to to get multiple results here uh in the last three years yeah i think just anticipating this environment um you know, we know that it's going to be a tough place to play. So anticipating that and just how we start the game is so important. You know, they had they had some chances at the beginning and so did we. So I think just, you know, that goal, as we just said, was huge for us so that we could, you know, keep the ball rolling. And um, yeah, just know that it's going to be a tough game no matter what. And we come out here knowing that. Yeah, obviously, I have some very pacey wingers with, uh, you know, Giselle and Alyssa Thompson and Claire Emsley. Um, what was the conversation like coming into this game about, kind of limiting their space uh in terms of the attack yeah i mean we just trust our outside people to defend 1v1 that's really all it comes down to is those 1v1 battles i mean carrie abella did great in the first half shutting down thompson um you know, i don't really think she did a whole lot out there so it just comes down to those 1v1 battles and then also the support around that um you know our outside backs to help them in those situations um but as i said carrie both carries did great with that tonight <clears throat> and speaking of uh, the one playing next to you, Carrie Lawrence, uh, getting her first start. Um, what was it mean, you know, mean to the team to, to see her, you know, back on the field and, and playing well in that, that respect? Yeah, I think we're also happy for her. I mean, she's worked her butt off to get back to this point. You know, she's a great person and we love, you know, love her energy in the locker room. So to have her get back on the field, I mean, it's, I'm sure she's pumped and, um, you know, really excited for her to get her first start. And then. Uh, but, no, I'm sorry. Just later on in the game, you bring in, in Hoffa, you move out to the uh, the fullback position, just being able to to have a player like Hoffa coming off the bench to shore up the defensive uh, shape. I mean, it's almost like an embarrassment of riches for this team. Yeah, for sure. I mean, looking over and seeing Hoffa come in, it's, it's super helpful. I mean, she stepped in and she did great after, you know, missing a couple of games. Um, really needed that presence tonight. And, you know, she, she holds it down and, you know, it just it feels good to have her back on the back line. Uh, Emily, just to wrap things up, obviously a highly anticipated match next weekend. Just how is the team going to prepare for Kansas City? Oh, especially on the short turnaround. I do have one more question to go to after that. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we obviously know that they go super direct. They have those, they're pacey forwards. They're a good team. Um, but, you know, I think it's going to be a really good matchup for us. This is the game that we've been looking forward to all season. You know, it's we're both undefeated and <clears throat> both have the same amount of points, same amount of goals. So I think our goal differential, I mean. So, I mean, we're just pumped for it. This is what the kind of games you look forward to. And we're going to go to Sean Rollins. Sorry about that, Sean. Last weekend, uh, Seb talked about the dangers of a 2 nil lead. Uh, you had that score going into halftime. You knew that, obviously, Angel City has a dangerous attack. Can you talk about the team's um, mentality coming out of the half? Yeah, I think at certain points in the season, we've struggled with our mentality um, coming out of the locker room at halftime. So I think, you know, we made that a point to try to change that around. And I think we've done we've done well. You know, we had a couple shots in the first couple minutes of the game and just try not to give them any hope um, to get a goal and just keep taking it to them right from the right from the whistle. Anything else, Sean? Cool. All right. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. And we will have Carrie shortly. Performance. Yeah, very good all round. You know, it's nice to come away <clears throat> from home and get uh, three goals um, and a clean sheet. Really important that we continue those clean sheets. Um, but it's nice to see, you know, Adri get on the score sheet with two goals. Unlucky not to get a hat trick. Caused them a lot of problems in possession. Uh, I love the defensive effort. It takes everyone, um, not just the goalkeeper, the back line, but the collective effort to keep it uh, uh, Angel City at zeros. All right, we're going to go to Austin. Seb, you kind of talked about Audrey getting on the score sheet. How important was it for for that goal in the 20th minute to kind of set the tone, especially away from home? Absolutely. We we wanted to come here and set a, a tone early on. We wanted to quiet the crowd, and the best way to do that is to to score goals. And so it's a it's a terrific finish from Audrey. Um, you know, it's good for her confidence uh, as well. You know, in the last game. Both Barbara, Marta, uh, Ali, 
I'll go on the goal to even summer. And so to get Adri scoring as well, it, it adds another layer to our game. And so it's really nice to see everyone contributing uh, on the goal, uh, on the score sheet, um, you know, in this in this uh, period of the season. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's been really pleasing for me to watch and sit back and, uh, and see the players going out there and putting performances in like they have done today. This has been a kind of favorable place for you guys over the last three times you visited, getting wins in, in each time. What what has it been that you've kind of keyed in on, if anything, that has allowed you to find success here? Um, you know, it's a great environment to play in. You know, Angel City have a, a great backing with their fans. I think it was close to a full house tonight. And so I think we thrive off that. I think we enjoy being uh, the spoilers uh, here. Um, I think every game has been very different. I, uh, you know, going back to last year and winning one 0 there was a lot of defending uh, throughout the whole game. Uh, I think today was a little bit different. I think you know we both you know went for went for it both ourselves and Angel City. Uh, we had a lot of good possession moments. We created a lot more opportunities. And again, it was a great defensive effort. It's kind of talking about the the defensive effort. Um, just wanted to ask you about Carrie Lawrence. Obviously, you gave her her first start since 2022. Um, the the impact that she was able to, to have uh, at the fullback position and kind of shutting down a lot of their wing play um, – what can you make of her performance, especially considering this this is her first start since back then? Yeah, she's she's been on a, a you know a windy road to get to this position. Um, you know, obviously last last year she missed a substantial amount of, of football, um, and then we've had to you know make sure that she's in a place to go out there and compete. And we felt that this was a great time for her to come in and 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 start the game. I thought she was brilliant, both uh, in possession and out of possession, uh, at 1v1 duels and, and, you know, when she received the ball, making good decisions on the ball. Um, but it just shows the, the togetherness of this team and making sure that everyone's ready to go out there and contribute. It was Carrie's moment uh, today. I'm sure it's going to be other players' moments uh, throughout the season. And so it's it's a real tight group and a, a real togetherness and making sure that everyone knows that their roles and responsibilities when they do get that start, that we don't we don't drop our standards. And, and Carrie certainly get, gave a great effort and uh, quality uh, first, first start of the season. When you have a team that is clicking the way that it is, but then you also have players like Angelina and Hoffa waiting in the wings, coming off the bench for you because they've been hurt. How difficult does that make your kind of decision-making in terms of starting personnel versus bringing them off the bench? And, you know, especially if other players are starting to find their form. Um, I, listen, I'd rather be in this position than, you know, the positions that we've been in in recent years. So, listen, this is a very competitive roster. You know, we have to make decisions um, to make sure that we're putting the right players out there to go out there and perform and make sure that we get the result that we, we deserve. And so, you know, it's a luxury to have Rafa come off the bench, Angelina to come off the bench, Ali Watt, um, you know, Corey Dyke, um, and also be competitive from the start with our starting lineup. Um, you know, this, this culture is amazing. The, the real togetherness of the group, knowing that anyone can be called upon at any time and go out there and give absolutely everything. And, you know, everyone's playing their role in, in our success this season. We're going to go to Sean Rollins. Sean, any questions you have? This was uh, seen as a potential trap game, team lower in the table with Kansas City coming up next week. Can you talk about the team's ability to focus on this game and not look forward? I, I honestly don't think it matters who we play, um, whether it's top of the table or bottom of the table. This league is so competitive, and you have to make sure that you turn up on the day and and, and you know give it your all. Um, you know the league doesn't owe you anything. We know that. We know the the struggles of going to tough environments, um, and so we approach every game uh, you know the same, whether it's. Utah at home or Angel City away or even next week when it's against Kansas, we're going to go out there 
and give her our all. And, um, you know, we always try and, and get three points. And it was nice today that we had managed to get three points. Last week, you talked about the dangers of, of a 2 0 lead and going to halftime with that lead. Last week, you came out and got a quick goal. Today, you came out and got a, a chance early in the second half. Um, can you talk about the team's ability to come out strong, knowing that uh, the opposition is going to be pushing for a, to get back in the game? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I told the players at halftime I sound like a broken record because there's been multiple occasions where we've had a 2 0 lead. We go into half time and, you know, it's the same message. You know, 2-0 two, two is a, a dangerous scoreline. Next score really matters. And so the players know that. They know that they can't take the foot off the gas. They have to go after it again and put pressure on the opponent. And, um, you know, we did create some really good opportunities. It, unfortunately, it didn't go in, in the net. But there was a calmness. There was a, a focus throughout the second half. Um, I thought we managed the game really well also. And then, you know, to get the third goal right at the end, um, again, really, really important. I think, you know, looking forward, getting those late goals will probably play dividends in where we stand at the end of the year. So, yeah, a real good performance today from the group. And, um, yeah, we're looking forward to next week. Anything else for Seb? All right, wrap up there. Seb, thank you. Thanks thank for joining, guys.